All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. We're going to be taking out the KV-1E. That's right. KV-1, the big old Brusive, Stalin stagecoach. And you know what? And then they decided, you know what? It doesn't have enough armor. Let's strap on more. So they did. But the problem with this thing is while it does weigh in at tier 2, it has a battle rating that puts it against Chinese tigers, man. And IS-1s, and more Tigers, and KV-2s, which kind of sucks. Because this thing would be pretty awesome to roll around in in Tier 2, but the battle rating, for the most part, keeps it into a Tier 3 battle. So, I mean, that kind of sucks. But I'm basically starting a series whereby we cover some of the lesser played, lesser known, lesser familiarize yourself with tanks. Oh. Like the KV-1E, and look at all that. See all those big old rivets and stuff like that? That, my friend, is spaced armor. Oh, yes. So this thing has stock armor of like 75 millimeters in most places, but with the extra spaced armor, that's like 25 millimeter plates basically put all over this in multiple different areas. One area that's not is the back of the turret, so keep that in mind. And also the very front, you can kind of see. Let's, let's get a close-in look. See right there? Doesn't really cover that. Oh gosh, it's a tree. So let's let's say strengths of this tank are its armor, weaknesses are its gun, and its uh, mobility. I mean, it's KV-1, but now it's even slower because of the armor. And um, it's only got kind of what I would say is like you know how the American tanks they got they start out, like the Sherman started with a 75 millimeter gun, and then they worked their way up to the 76, and the 76 is amazing. Well, with the Russians, you've got like a couple different flavors of a 76mm gun, and this one is vanilla. This one is poop. No one really likes poop. I mean, I don't know if you do. I sure don't. I've never had it. I've heard it's bad. You know. Oh, is that a little locust? It is a little locust. Someone we can shoot. Tut, 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 tut. Hello, friend. Have you heard about my friend Joseph Stalin? Oh god, he's he's picking up. Look at that reload rate. It's poop. And he's gone, just like that. Where am I? Whose chair is this? Someone's shooting at me. Oh, I think he's gonna peek out. So everything's a little more sluggish on the KB1 than normal. Which, but yeah, so I think one of the reasons why not many people get this tank is actually because of... Yeah, I mean, what? It's like what, mate? It's like a passive four up there. Sup, bro? He, I see. I'm on fire. He just hit me on fire. Let's extinguish that and pull back. Pull back. But yeah, so even with that armor, man, I tell you what, a nice, nice 75 millimeter gun that they. Had. What I did? Oh, I got a kill! Yeah. All right, we got to repair now. I was actually surprised. I guess he did not have what you call them, fire extinguishers. We did. We got a six-second-long repair. That's really not bad at all. But yeah, so I mean, look at over there. There's a tiger with his big old 88 millimeter gun. And if I peek out, he's like, "Hello, Mr. Joseph Stalin one." Ah, uh, that is so cute with your little 25 millimeters of extra armor. I will crush your face. Who the tits is shooting at me? Ow! Where'd it come from, mate? SU-152? I think I just bounced a shot. Oh, what? See, how did that not ignite the ammunition? Riddle me that, Batman. Shit. We're on fire again. We... A panther. See? We're KV-1. Yeah, we got 25mm spaced armor, but there's some really, really nice German tanks rolling around out there. Are we on fire again? I'm out of fire extinguishers, guys. It's rude. So, on... <laughs> wow. Wow. Look at that. And that is the remains. Let's see. Well, I mean, look at that shot. Rain shot. That was actually through the actual space part. He almost hit a, an area where it was just... But it was like, hey, man, I am Panther. I have amaze... I have maze balls penetration. I don't care about your spaced armor. So my team's getting wrecked. I'm getting wrecked. We're getting wrecked, ladies and gentlemen. But after this, I want to show you the armor, because it is really cool. But I mean, a tier 2 with a battle rating of 4.3 basically means... <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not, you're not going to be fighting tier 2s. 
It's just, it's not your birthday. Go shorty, it ain't your birthday. Go drive Stalin and get wrecked because it's not your birthday. It's like the theme song that's going inside my tank right now and my crew, the morale is low. We ran out of vodka quite a long time ago. We had to use it as extra fuel and Molotov cocktails. I mean, it's just its just not, not good, you know? It's not good, it's not good. So we've got, yeah, look, you wanna drive this or an IS-1? Battle rating, but I mean, battle rating does kinda keep it balanced. Wow, look at all those maneuvers he's doing. All right, M24 Chaffee, I see you. And, ooh, critical hit. Right through the shirts and of a, of a Panzer IV, maybe? Yeah, dude, you should be dead now, I agree. Why don't you die for me? Oh, stop me right in my tracks. There's a kill. So as we're just gonna get shelled a little chaffy here, you, you peeking out, you being cute? See, if I had a coax, I would I would definitely... Looks like they damaged my transmission. No, my engine. Battle trophies. Totally tits, mate. So we got two kills, and the game's over. Because of that uh, cargo stuff, which I think is kind of funny. Um, it can be fun, but I've noticed that they just put it in really weird spots where it doesn't seem to really... Uh, it's not... I wouldn't say it's necessarily balanced. Um, that enemy team was clearly kicking booty. I actually did okay in a very, very over-tiered tank. So let's go over the armor real quick, right? And then we're going to get... I'm going to try to find a tier 2 battle just so you can see every now and then. So these are the... If you look here, you've got 25mm plates stuck all over this thing. If you try to shoot through down here, you've got plates. 25mm on top of the 75mm. This is a very, very strong tank, especially... If it were if we're, were to actually be fighting on tier two, so 25 millimeters on top of 75, 100 millimeters plus it's kind of space. So heat rounds is like they do very little. But as we saw in the M103 video, heat rounds are really cool and everything. But um, I wouldn't say they're all that useful um, in most settings. You know what I mean? So 75 millimeters. Here's a 40 millimeter plate, but it's at a very steep angle. So it's still got pretty close to 100, but if you're a little above it, shoot that. Shoot there. Actually, shoot there for sure. Um, but yeah, so there's a few little weak spots from the front. Right here being one of them, the machine gun port, which is usually just in general a good idea to shoot for um, on heavy tanks like this. And then the little viewport there. And then you got these big old riveted plates, and look, there's actually a little weak spot there. But it's kind of cool. There's a lot of different armor, but I actually have been shot right through this. But I mean, it's against tier 3 competition. So yeah, here's what I'm talking about. At In arcade levels, it's got a battle rating of 4.3. Um, it's a really cool tank. I'd love to see it in tier 2 and just... You'd, you'd wreck. That's why I think most times you get in tier 3 battles. Yavol, so now let's look at the inside and look at all the little cool crew members and components that will blow up when you get penetrated by tiger tanks. You've got this ammunition all down there, so I guess if you shoot right through there, man, you shoot that guy in the face. Yep, so that's the interior of the tank. Um, if you're in a tiger, don't even worry about it, man. Just shoot it anywhere and you're gonna, you're gonna knock this thing out. But... Dang, look how big the fuel tanks are, man. Big old Russian heavy tanks. Radiators in the back for cooling. The engine, which always got killed for us. As did everything else. Anyway, so that is... You can see how fun it'd be. Let's let's check out the battle ratings of most tier 2s, right? So kv ones this 5. That thing actually has a battle rating of 4.7. KV-1 only 3.7. T-34, 3.7. Four point seven. Let's see, four point three. Yeah, for the KV two. Where are you at? So this is four point three. Now the SMK is three point seven. Now that is a kick-ass tank. I love driving that thing. It's absolutely ridiculous. Your fire rate is amazing, and um, you're more likely to stay in tier two battles. And so if you haven't seen a video on that, I have a couple out. And man, do I like that tank. Anyway, let's check out some more action. 
All right, so we're back in the KV-1E, and I think this time, maybe... Oh, we did random spawning, but Sats is no con... Actually, there's only one spawn point. Excuse me. There was more than one spawn point. There was only one capture point. Um, Kind of looks like a Colombian little triangle right there. You know, red, blue, yellow. Reminds me of Colombia. You know what else reminds me of Colombia? When you're watching this video, ladies and gentlemen, I'm probably in Colombia right now. Truly. Colombia, South America. I was talking to this girl the other day. And I was like, yeah, you know, blah, 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 I'm going to be going to Colombia. And she's like, uh, Colombia, South Carolina? Or Colombia, New York? And I was like, oh, actually, Colombia, South America. So, if you're not following me on Instagram or Twitter, you probably missed that. Fire snapshot, titties. I messed up me short. We're going to load up another round. Yeah, look at this. No tigers. Yes, this is the matchmaking we have been aching for, we have been yearning for, and now we have been rewarded. So I'm going to march my big old spaced armor booty straight up to that cap point, and I'm going to hold down this fort after I fire at this guy, in that guy. Alright, there you are, hello. Oh, he's got some spaced armor. So we're having a little duel right here. Are those guys dead? Are they both dead or like what? Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna need to aim for something different. They're pulling back. Oh, we've got contact over here and I was showing my not as armed side to them. This Panzer 3L. Yeah, so if you wanna see what's going on. Come on, we need we need a we need a kill right there. Through that machine gun port. We're getting shot from the other side, too. I think that machine gun port is the truth. Nope. We're under artillery barrage. We set him on fire there. So that is fantastic. Hey, dude. Alright, ground unit destroyed. Space armor is doing its thing. We pretty much have no damage. Oh. You know what? What is that? Uh, an M3 Lee, okay. And look at that guy ghost riding the whip. Oh, just missed the ammunition. If we fire a little lower, we'll hit some ammunition. Critical hit. Do we hit ammunition? No, but we... Actually, we did, but not enough. And now I've got my Sherman here, friend here. Let's aim for that spot I like. Oh, that time I hit the gun mantlet. And it looked like the 105 walked in and stole me squirrel. If you know where that's from, I tell you what, man. If you know where you stole my squirrel comes from, I'm, I'm impressed. Critical hit on a stoogie. Now that he's damaged, we're going to waltz up here and hopefully finish him off. We might need to do another shot, so we're going to... He's on fire. He may have two fire extinguishers, but guess what? He doesn't have a KV-1E extinguisher! Now we have an AI stoog here, which we will shoot at. We'll set him on fire and we're just gonna leave him because he's AI. And he is of no concern to us. Well, you know what? Let's, let's get up here and let's start just... Let's start bringing it to him, man. Are we losing? We are losing A, but I'm gonna get up in a position where I'm going to cause all kinds of issues. I'm going to distract them. They're going to have to account for me. And as a result, they will not be able to push into A. So hopefully my team, which hopefully will not be distracted, will press on and capture the objective. That's the goal. So, as we vault our big Russian booty up here, who are we going to see, man? I'm going to just ambush these mother truckers. I've got spaced armor. Look at that. That stoog that we left let on fire. There's a Panzer 4F2. Oh, and a T-34. Probably gonna have to take care of him because he sees me. Oh, my driver's unconscious? Pfft. I think I did something there because he stopped. My loader's unconscious. What are you doing? Oh, they got my loader. So I'm just gonna be moving around so then they can't find the spots to shoot at. Look at look how much Yeah, look how much shots I can soak up here. 
Now I'm going to angle myself and I've got 25 millimeters of armor. What's up, dude? Oh, I was hoping to set you on fire right there. Ooh! Where'd he hit us? Oh, right after the air support got there. Threw the spaced armor, but he, hit, he knocked out the engine and exploded the fuel. Good lord. Look at that guy. So we're going to be hopping right back in it. How are we doing? I guess it doesn't really matter where we land. We're going to waltz up. We had three kills, two assists, and one AI. So now we're just going to barge straight over that bridge. Honestly, the game... I'm hoping I can get there before the game's over. That's the one part, one downside, I guess. Well, it looks like we're about to cap A, honestly. So yeah, this is what the KV-1E can do in a tier 2 game, as opposed to the battle rating, which puts it at tier 3 a lot of times. Now, can I just say this? Of course I can, because I'm the one recording this. I think it's silly that there is both a battle rating system and... Stay on target. Oh, God. Hopefully that did something. No, he, he got my gun. I will bounce your shot. And actually, I should face this way with my turret. So then they got less... Less opportunity to shoot my uh, gun. I'm gonna wiggle it. Yeah, you're trying. You know where to shoot for, but I ain't gonna let you do it. Alright. So we're capping. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. That was some good bombing right there. Now that's a KV-1. I don't really have to worry about his gun. This Panzer IV, that's a gun I want to worry about. What? Load no tease, mate. Now I hope he peeks out. Because if he does, I have a really nice shot. Did you see that belly dive? Of course you did. Look at the wheel. Hello, Dasvidanya. Critical hit. Perfect. Now let's try to get another one. Oh, he, he got out of the way. There's something up there. There was. Are we capping it? Yeah, we're capping it in force. We got this, boys and girls. How are we doing? Three kills still. No coaxial machine gun or else I'd be shooting at that Friedrich. Friedrich und Krebs. All right, it's an ambush. What's up, dude? Hello. How do you do? Now let's... What you trying to do there, friend? What? No critical damage? Oh god, that sounds like a bomb. Now I'm gonna traverse so my turret actually traverses quicker. Almost there, stay on target. Now, I'm definitely doing it the wrong way. He actually went for a little run. Dang. Alright, so... I should have... Dang, man. I think I just let this guy go. Where are you at? No! Shaman, come here! Oh, I would have hit him. I would have hit him. We're just going to put that one on the old resume. And then we're like, we have tried to verify this, and that was inferior. So, we did a lot of damage, and we soaked up a lot of shells. Now, our gun isn't the best gun, but man, is our armor amazing at that tier. Um, so, that was a little preview. Look at that, see? You get lots of points just by soaking up damage and doing a lot of damage. Like, I didn't have... I had 25 hits, right? Seven of them were critical, which only got me four kills and three assists. Well, I guess four and three equals seven math lessons, ladies and gentlemen, over here at Baron Von Math. So this was, in fact, the KV-1. Pretty fun tank. The only thing that kind of messes with it is its high battle rating, and that's kind of a balanced thing. Thank you, Krusty Case, for luck on my adventures, because <laughs> that's my name. He doesn't know about Columbia, or does he? Anyway, so if you haven't um, followed me on Instagram, do that now, because I've got some pictures up on Columbia, and man, I hope I'm having a good time right now. I don't know. This is pre-recorded. Ha ha! So, pull the trigger on the like button, share the video with a friend. Hola, Mantukia. How are you doing? And I will see you all soon.